Hi. What do I always say? Bio review. Okay. This is the honors bio review. And we already did a flashing, it's gonna give me a seizure. Um we already did um chapter what? What have we already reviewed? Six. Six. And what else? Seven. And that is up on what? I'm going to encourage you to go there on YouTube to watch that. And a PDF of this presentation that I have right here is in Google Classroom in the stream. So if you want to know what questions or whatever that I have available. Also, remember I gave you a step-by-step -step review guide. And I asked you questions for Chapter 6 and Chapter 7 and Chapter 8. Hopefully you did that and took advantage of that and that would prepare you. Also, you have quizzes, this is this, right, that you could use, and you have links to those. Also, you have questions at the back of your um, chapters, right, chapter six, seven, and eight, and then the answers are in the back of the book. So you have a lot of opportunity um, to do some formative assessment and see how well you do and what areas are weak and have those pointed out to you, okay, so that you can focus on them. So chapter six, we already did. Chapter seven we already did, so now all we need to do is talk about chapter eight and review that. Um, and the first thing I would have you do, and this would be something very typical I would have you do, similar to your debrief. I mean, expect what you did on your debrief, expect it on your group part of your test, okay? So the first thing is, can you write out the equation for photosynthesis, okay? And can you, if I'm working left to right, I should be able to read for photosynthesis, right? You would write sun, well, actually just tell me, what would be the equation for photosynthesis? Energy. You better start with something else first. Energy. Energy from the sun, sun usually, right? Some sort of energy plus? Six. Six. Six what? Doing photosynthesis today, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what goes next? CO2. 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 Okay, well, that was hard. Okay, it goes to what? You got that? And if I asked you what got reduced, what got oxidized, could you tell me? Yeah. What? Water gets into what? Into O2. Yep. So it got oxidized. Now tell me something else. Carbon dioxide gets reduced. You agree with that? Okay. And is this reaction an endergonic reaction or an exergonic reaction? Endergonic. Endergonic. How, how come you know that? The energy is on the what side? Reactant side. Okay. If you're going to do photosynthesis, don't write it like this and change the arrow the other direction. Right? Don't do that. Okay. If you're going to do photosynthesis, how would you write, or sorry, cellular respiration, how would you write that? Okay. What do you want me to write? Six what? Plus ATP, right? And that's assuming you don't have the second law of thermodynamics, right? So this one right here is what reaction? What's the reaction here on the bottom? Cellular respiration. And the one on top is photosynthesis. photosynthesis. Okay. And if we were identifying what got oxidized in this one, what would you say? This? C6. Yup. Darn it. <laughs> what does it get oxidized to? 6CO2. And then what gets reduced? Okay. 
Are you good on that? Same colors. Is this an endergonic or exergonic reaction? Exergonic. Exergonic. You're releasing the energy, right? Because you're oxidizing the glucose, right? In order to ultimately reduce, um, um, what do you oxidize? You're going to ultimately reduce oxygen into water, but along the way, you're going to make 36 to 38 ATP. ATP. Good. So your energy is on your product side, right? Your energy is on your product side. So it's exergonic. If your energy is on your reactant side, it is endergonic. Okay. So when we look back here and we look, okay, so write the equation. Um, I well, it says repeat with photosynthesis. So write the equation for photosynthesis. Identify what gets oxidized and reduced, and then name each major step and where it occurs and its purpose. So could we name the steps? Okay. So tell me about the steps. What's the first step called? The what? Light what? Light dependent reaction. So the first step, wait, that was. So if you're harvesting light, okay, if you're harvesting light, before we talk about the steps, tell me, how, what do you use to pick up that light energy? Photons are particles of light, but what do you use to capture that light energy? Pigments, right? You have to use, I'm just using this as an opportunity to review a couple other things. You have to use pigments, right, to capture that light energy. What are some pigments? Name some pigments for me. Chlorophyll A, chlorophyll, a, chlorophyll B, and carotenoids. Carotenoids. Who is the superstar pigment here? A. Chlorophyll A. Okay. Now, each of those accept light at different wavelengths, right? Remember when we did Roy G. Biv? Who's more powerful, Roy or Biv? Biv. Biv, because its wavelengths are smaller. Okay. They each detect light or can absorb light at different wavelengths. That makes it very useful for the plant, so they can capture all different wavelengths of light and ultimately send it to the reaction center of chlorophyll A to start the process of the light reaction. We know some other things about light as well, right? Light is either absorbed, right? Or it passes through, or it's reflected. reflected. So if something looks hot pink, is it absorbing hot pink? No. no. What is it doing? Reflecting. Reflecting. Is it absorbing blue? Yes. 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 Okay. So. It will, if when something is black, it's absorbing all, all colors. colors. That's why it looks like there's no color there because it's absorbed it all. If something is white, it's reflecting all, all colors. colors. So plants would not grow well in what kind of light? Green, Green light because it would reflect it. Does that make sense? Okay, so I just wanted to preface our discussions there. Then when we talk about, let's talk about the light reaction, okay? Think about it maybe via the song. How do we start the song? Water, 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 water. Okay, so here's some water. What are we going to do to that water? Break it in half. Break it in half. What are we going to break it in half into? Oxygen and you'll have hydrogen, but that hydrogen can be broken down into what? Hydrogen ions and electrons. Do you agree with that? Okay, then what? Here. Here comes the sun, traveling waves, particles of light are called photons. And it gets the electrons excited. Okay? All right. So, na 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 And here's my electron now again. He was very excited. Okay. Now... What is that called that we just diagrammed right there? Photosystem 2. What is it? Photosystem 2. Okay, so this is Photosystem 2. I'm just shortening it for that. Okay, um, then when you get those electrons moving, what do you do? You move hydrogen ions. Yes, who moves it? PQ. PQ, okay. And PQ is going to make even more hydrogen ions that are out in the... Stroma, 
come into the interior, right? And when we have all those hydrogen ions, then they can go back out through what? ATP synthase complex. Now, can I tell you something? I didn't really make enough room because your ATP synthase complex would not be interrupting your electron transport chain, right? I just, but I'm drawing it here just for the purposes of now. Hydrogen goes back out, and when you do that, you make some ATP. That's pretty messy, okay? Then what happens next? Here comes the sun traveling in waves. Particles of light are called photons, and it gets the electrons excited. So, yes. Now, do we na 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 na? No. We just na na na. Oh, na na na, right? And then, who is that electron given? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Trying to be helpful, but not. Okay. Who? Okay. Who is this electron given to? ATP reductase. Yeah. Or no. Not ATP. Sorry. The NAD. Yeah, NADP, right? That electron is given to that. That extra electron attracts a hydrogen, and then it's NADPH, okay? So then when we're, oh, what's that photosystem that I just messed up? Thank you. Now if I ask you to diagram photosystem one, okay, or photosystem two, or both of them, you don't have to put your ATP synthase right in there. You can just tell me. You could say, hey, these hydrogens, okay. These hydrogens are used to make ATP as they go through ATP synthase complex. Because your ATP synthase complex is not in the middle of your electron transport chain. Yes? It's just a part, it's considered a part of photosystem one in the set. I mean, they're two different things, but it's a result of photosystem one that you get to make the ATP. That would be how I would approach it. Due to photosystem one, you're able to generate ATP as the hydrogen ions move from the lumen of the thylakoid membranes out into the stroma. Okay, wait, I heard, a, I saw a hand. I didn't hear a hand, I saw, okay. All right, now we're done with the light dependent reaction. What do we walk away with as a result of the light dependent reaction? ATP okay, AT, where is it? ATP reduced NADP, and what else? Oxygen. 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 Which of those three things do I need for the next reaction? ATP reduced NADP. Yeah, these two will go on to the next reaction, and what's the next reaction called? Light independent. Light independent, what's another name for it? Calvin, Calvin cycle, what's another name for it? Dark, Dark reaction, right? And how many times are you going to do this reaction? Right. It's a terrible circle. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What do you What do you start out with in this reaction? Okay. Three CO two. So I'm going to call those CO two as C ones. All right. So I've identified that. What else? RUBP, so 3RUBP, which I'm going to identify as 3C5. We okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the C1 comes in here with the C5, and now I have a what? 3C6. Okay, then what happens? They break down to what? 6C3. These are low energy, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to use some ATP. I'll use six of them. Okay, and what else am I going to use? You okay with what I just did right there? Now I have what? Still. 6C3, but now they are powerful, right? What do we call them? Say my name, say my name. G. G3P. What's another name for it? PJL. Either way. Then what am I going to do? Take one away. Every time I take one away, right? Every single time I take one away, right? And then what am I left with? 
5C3, and because I took one away, and then what am I going to do? What? I'm going to use some ATP. And now I am back to 3C5. And I'm going to do this two times. What is its name again? Dark reaction or Calvin cycle or the independent reaction. The second time, the second time, I'll have another C3, which is equal to a glucose. Are you okay with that? I didn't draw it very well. You might have done better. Yes. Wait, where are you? From the ATP to the ADP. Oh, three AT yeah, that's an inorg three inorganic phosphate. Sorry. I just drew it very poorly. All right, are you good with that? Who do we have a problem with on here? Who gives us trouble? Yes. RUBP right here, not to be trusted. Because if RUBP has low CO2, who it's supposed to hook up with, and instead has high oxygen. oxygen, then instead it'll hook up with oxygen, that's bad, and that's called what? Photo respiration. So there's two ways to avoid photo Two ways to avoid photo respiration, right? One is to isolate RUBP, so isolate her in space, right? Like those C4 plants where they hide them in near the veins and then they escort using PEP, they escort CO2 in. A second way to, is to isolate her in time. time. Still use PEP, fix CO2 in the night when the stomata can be open because it's not too hot, store a bunch of CO2 in, so during the daytime when it gets hot and the doors close, the stomata close, and as the O2 um, gets produced higher and higher and CO2 goes away, PEP can release the CO2 and keep feeding the dragon of RUBP, right? And she's never gonna run out of CO2 that way. Those extra steps cost you ATP energy, but it must be worth it because some plants have that as an adaptation. Okay, questions or concerns about that? Okay, we will sing the song in just one second, but I wanna review one other thing with you. Let's talk about that lab. Okay. How, what kind of things would I need to do to set up this lap? Mm -hmm. Okay, where am I going to do all this business in? In the, in, the, in the reaction chamber. So I'm drawing a reaction chamber here. Okay, what did we put in that reaction chamber? Water. Water. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Okay, then what else did we put in there? Catalase, so I used a syringe, right? And I put in there, I put in catalase. What is catalase? Enzyme. So maybe we should start by writing out the reaction. Let's write out the reaction. What was the reaction? Yeah, catalase, I have to use catalase. And what do I get? And is that one balanced right there? No, but I'm not gonna worry about it, okay? So you put hydrogen peroxide in here and you added catalase to it and what you would assume is coming out would be what? Oxygen. Oxygen. And then you had a sensor on there, right? Which you Bluetooth to an iPad, which you had graphs on there, yes? And that sensor, that probe, measured what? Concentration. Measured O2 in parts per trillion. Now we could change this all different ways. Now in our experiment, what we changed was one of the things that could be the independent variable could be what? Hydrogen yeah, the concentration. What we would assume, what would we assume? The more hydrogen peroxide we had, the more oxygen, the dependent variable, right? That's what we would assume. 
What's another thing we could have done besides changing the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide? You could change the amount of catalase you have. And again, the more catalase you have, you would assume? Yeah, the more oxygen. What else could you change? Well, concentration again, so we're all pretty, that's the same as more catalase or less catalase. Let's think of some other things that affect enzymes. Temperature, 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 right? So we could change the temperature of the catalase, right? You assume as you increase temperature, molecules are going to move faster. faster. So you would have more oxygen, oxygen right? Up to a point until you do what? Denature. Denature it, and then you will have no, no oxygen. What's another thing we could change besides temperature? pH. Now, pH, does it have as much wiggle room? No. Because no. this catalase, this enzyme, and somewhere on here you need to identify because I have not yet. That's the enzyme. Okay. Um, that the pH really matters to an enzyme, and when we change the pH just one number, we're actually changing it to 10. So there's not as much wiggle room. So you would expect to get a lot of oxygen at the pH that's right for catalase. If you made it, if you added vinegar, it'd make it like acidic or adding baking soda, you made it basic, you would expect it not to work as well because you altered the pH. So I would be prepared to answer any question where we alter the pH, the temperature, the concentration of the catalase or the hydrogen pro, you know. I, I'm really concerned about pH and temperature with catalase, and then you could do concentration of either one of those. Yes? Are you going to ask us about temperature to answer the temperature? You could address all of it, right? If I say, what would happen if you change the temperature, you would say, there's an optimal temperature for every enzyme, right? We learned that. And if you, if you heat it up a little bit more, the molecules are going to move faster, you probably have more product. But you reach a point where it denatures that enzyme, and then it's not, you're not going to get any product. It's like you've killed off the enzyme entirely. Not that you can kill an enzyme, but you denature it. Yes? Okay, more questions about that? Okay, should we sing? Yes. Should we super sing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We should start with yes. cellular respiration. You want to start with cellular respiration? Okay, let's start with cellular respiration. Here we go. Okay, I know you can't, but you can do along with us, right? Yeah, you can do it along with us. Okay, what's the whole thing called? Cellular respiration. What's the first step? Glycolysis. Who does it? All cells. Where do they do it? In the cytoplasm. What do you start out with? Glucose. Glucose. How many carbons? Six. Six. What are you going to do? Break it in half. Two steps. Ten. 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 Called? Two pyruvic acids. And you? Reduce some NAD and make some ATP too. Oh, we have plenty of oxygen. What should we do? Aerobic respiration. What's the next step, Paul? Transition. Grab, where are we going? Into the mitochondria. Where in the mitochondria? Here we go. And you reduce some NAD and two acetyl-CoA put one away. What's the next step, Paul? How many times are you going to do it? Why? Where are we? In the matrix. Um, doing the bit. What does that mean? Um, Did you say pulling off the CO2 and reducing an NAD? Yes. Then I'm proud of you. Here we go. Okay. Two plus four is six. Do the bit. Get five. Do the bit. Get four. Make an ATP. Reduce an NAD. Reduce an NAD. And two plus four is six. Do the bit. Get five. Do the bit. Get four. Make an ATP. Reduce an FAD. Reduce an NAD. And stop. Gather all the reduced NADs and FADs. And take them to the top of the ETC. Wait, where are we? Krista. Of the inner membrane of the mitochondria. And when we reductase, 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 we're taking hydrogens from the matrix and putting them into the? Inner memory, memory space. space. Thank you. Take them to the top of the ETC. Uh uh. Na 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 na. Reductase, reductase, cytochrome oxidase, and you make some ATP. A lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it, or a lot of it, a lot of it. Who catches the electrons at the bottom? Oxygen forming water. Water, 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 water. What are we gonna do? Bring it out. What do we get? Oxygen and electrons. Sweet, sweet. Those hydrogen ions into the thylakoid.
liquid membrane. Here comes the sun traveling in waves, particles of light are called photons, and it gets the electrons excited. And photons is what? Two. Two. Anana, 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 anana. P, Q, you know those hydrogen ions, and you make some ATP. Mm. Mm. One photo system. One. Here comes the sun traveling in waves, particles of light are called photons, and it gets the electrons excited. Anana, anana, catches it. NADP forming reduce NADP. Then you take some ATP and some reduced NADP to the dark reaction or the Calvin cycle or the light independent reaction. We ready? Three C five. Who is that? That's are you giving your DP? Okay. Plus three C one. Who is that? Makes three C six. Break down to six C three. Mm. Use some ATP. Use some reduced NADP on your six C three. Take one away. PJL G three P. And you're left with five C three. Use some ATP to build three C five plus. 3C1 makes 3C6. Break down to 6C3. Mm. Use some ATP. Use some reduced NADP on your 6C3. Take one away. Glucose. Just then, then you're left with 5C3. Use some ATP to build 3C5. Stop. Pick up your glucose. How many carbons? Six. What are we going to do? Break, Break in half. Step 10. ten. Enzyme ten. 10. Pulp. 2 pyruvic acid. And you reduce some NAD and make some ATP. 2. Oh no, we don't have oxygen. What are we going to do? Fermentation. Where are we going to do fermentation? Where are we gonna do fermentation? In the cytoplasm. Yeah, because we're not entering into the mighty mitochondria because we don't have any oxygen. Good. Um, oh no, we don't have any oxygen. What are we going to do? Fermentation. How many choices do we have? Two. Two. You and I make lactic acid, makes our muscles sore. Plants and yeast make alcohol. Either way, you oxidize your NAD. Yay! Do you have any questions? My <laughs> sweep, sweep brings the hydrogen ions to the interior of the thylakoid membrane to contribute to our proton gradient. Feeling strong? Yep. Don't forget to do your highly suggested reading and thinking. Know how to diagram that experiment with all the different variables. Know how to diagram any step of cellular respiration, any step of photosynthesis like you did in your debrief. Question. What? Oh, uh, I have some people who have to make up a quiz. Can you have a copy of the Hello Smart in your notes? Uh, we could want it. Let's see. Did we do Hello Smart for photosynthesis? Yeah. We did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Be good. Be smart. I love you.